Okay, I'm going to start with a short story of uh, the enterprise software, a story that you're probably aware with. Uh, we start with good ideas, we code, we test, we launch, we celebrate, and then, oops, we have new requirements and we have like adjustments to do, and before you know it, you have compromises. <laughs> you make compromises that you have to live with, and uh, soon enough, you know, your system starts showing some latency, and uh, you have to identify them and fix them. The first technique we use is a neat package called Line Profiler. Uh, to use Line Profiler, you just use a decorator on the functions you want to profile, and you run it through uh, your executable through a wrapper called uh, kern, kern Prof. Uh, let's take an example. So here we have like a very long function that takes a, in a loop, you know, uh, 10 times calls three different functions. Uh, and we want to profile it, so we put the decorator on the top of it. We run it through the current prof wrapper, and it gives you this uh, neat output with the, your code, in fact, in there, and the st statistics ne next to each line. Uh, so here, unsurprisingly, we have the sleep 50 milliseconds taking 50% of the time. Um, this is good for a dev environment but it slows down your execution and also you know the stati statistics are only available when the 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 executable ends so um for prod environment we wrote a little class called the chronometer uh, chronometer that's almost all the code of it so you see it's a basic very small class the guts of it is in this function called mark where you take the current time and you end the previous mark and you start the new one um, it puts the, the, uh, the information in the logs. Uh, so let's modify our a little test here. We use a chronometer and we put little marks, you know, one before the print, one before the loop, and one before the last print, and then we log. It gives you something like this. And here we see that the loop takes all the time, uh, of course. Uh, if we had put marks within the loop, we would have ended up with like 30 marks. We want something more like a line profiler that, you know, accumulates all the marks. So we have like, uh, we derive a little class from our chronometer called the cumulative chronometer. And here we accumulate all the, uh, the duration for each marks. Let's take again a little example. And here we can put marks within the loop, sleep one, sleep two, sleep three. And in the logs, you'll see something like this. And sleep two takes 500 milliseconds, unsurprisingly. And uh, contrary to line profiler here, instead of having a roll up of all the statistics, uh, you have one entry per uh, function entry. And um, it, it, it's, it's in fact uh, better like this because you can identify edge, edge cases in your service and, and get the statistic for, for that particular case. Uh, third tool that we use is matplotlib. Um, in the case where you have the usual, you know, uh, tiered service, you have the client br browser making a, a request to the front end, and that single request can end up with like multiple exchanges between the front end and the back end service. Um, so what we did is put on the back end service a um, like timestamps at the beginning of the request and at the end of the request. So here, let's say that you click, uh, talk to the front end, and that translated into like six function calls on the back end, and you get like those statistics. And with like the, this little script here uh, using matplotlib, uh, I, we end up with like a graph like this. Uh, the highlighted sections are the time spent in the back end, and since we have start and end time, we can also induce the time spent on the front end as well. And here we can see that between function one and function two call, the front end did something, you know, that we have to diagnose. 